Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Latif Mercado, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. This is episode 33. Today um, is Sunday. It's Sunday night. I chilled out today, ran a few errands, um, just really trying to uh, take it easy. I got one pretty much, uh, I got one more week of chilling, and that's it. But I know yesterday I was talking to you guys about my shabbiness uh, that I've been uh, kind of hanging with for the last, I don't know, couple months. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I think tomorrow I'm going to have to uh, go see the barber. So they're going to kind of freak out a little bit. And I'll tell you why. Um, went to go pick up Santana today. So, we'll, you know, we pick her up every Sunday from my mother's. We keep her for the week and then we bring her back. Um, on uh, Friday nights. So she spends the time with with her parents and her brother and sisters. But anyway, the baby, now her little sister, um, uh, um, Gia, Giovanna, which is my youngest granddaughter. She's uh, five months old. This little baby loves me to death. But today, I went to hug her and I kissed her. And I guess she got a little feel of the beard and she lost her mind. (laughs) After that, I couldn't even hold her. She would look at me and she would just... She would just freak out. So everybody looked at me and just said, yeah, I think it's about that time. I'm like, yep. (laughs) I was kind of hoping I could hang like another week. Uh, I might end up uh, taking a picture and posting this uh, eventually. So you guys see what I'm talking about. It's going to be embarrassing. So it's going to take a lot for me to do that. Let's see. I might not. I don't know. But if I do, it's going to be inside my Facebook page. Um, uh, within this, uh, put this put it this way. If anybody wants to see it, I uh, got to get three different people. Let's do it like that. Three people who want to see my shabbiness, uh, then they need to post it in the Facebook section underneath this episode 33. So, but anyway, uh, other than that, uh, everything is cool. I'm getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, I'm expecting several calls to come in. I want to lock in a couple of deals. Um, I got a great pride show coming up and um, contracts are out. We're just waiting for everyone to sign off. And then we're going to lock that one in. That's going to be a great show. I'm really excited. That's the one I'm thinking about a lot now. Uh, We have the other shows, which I've mentioned several times. Um, So we'll see what's what's going on. Uh, Also, just so you guys know, um, I am, I think I brought it up before, um, La Radio Live is also broadcasting the podcast, the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, every night at midnight Eastern Time. Now, the only difference between listening it through La Radio and listening it through whatever medium you're listening to it right now is the order, okay? So with La Radio, we decided not to put it in order. So you might listen tonight and it might be episode 12 and tomorrow might be episode 27. We don't know. So it runs randomly, but it might be a cool way of uh, just kind of listening in without any real commitment to it. You know, then if it's something that you really enjoying, if you, you know, uh, or something that you missed or maybe you didn't catch up or maybe uh Someone, you know, one of you guys, somebody else is uh, is checking it out, and uh, then you can come on to the Facebook page, which will be in order, or the YouTube page, which will also be in order, or any of the other uh, uh, podcast platforms, which will also be in order. So we're making it very easy uh, to get hold of this. We're not looking to saturate any particular platform with listeners. That's not, you know, which a lot of people will will pretty much. Um, object to my idea of doing that so they would say no you should pick a platform and really just focus on that platform and get as many people as you possibly can now 
The problem with that is I don't know which platform to, to choose. I really don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm using several. I mean, several. So, again, from Anchor to iTunes to iHeartRadio to, uh, God, Radio Public. I mean, Stitcher, uh, Google Podcasts. It goes on as, as well as uh, Facebook which is a, a native upload as well as also YouTube. So depending on where the people are really listening from uh, will be the platform that I will probably dedicate a future <clears throat> podcast to. So that way I'm not you know, losing my mind trying to distribute this thing everywhere. I can pick a platform and we can work with it uh, from there. So, uh, but that might be a while. That might be, it might be the entire year. Or I might just like this idea. I might just want to keep it like that. We, who knows? I don't. I really don't know. I, I didn't make a decision yet, um, and I'm not going to sit back and wait till I make the decision to start recording. I just want to kind of get the ball up and, and get everything rolling. So, um, I was on Facebook uh, earlier today. Uh, quite a few projects happening. Uh, I mentioned to you guys uh, a few of the other podcasts that are going on. I think that's really cool. Um, Tony Stone, uh, uh, Tony TK Stone, um, he started something called the Freestyle Kings, which I think is really cool. I, I, I'm digging the passion. I'm digging the um, um, the drive and the uh, confidence he has in this product. In, in this project, you know, people got realized this is not an easy task. You know, he's aligning aligning himself with all the right people, so. Uh, this could be something cool. You know, he's putting out new music. And you know what? You know, I'm not saying everybody needs to love everything anybody puts out. But show the support. Show the support. You know, uh, because of the fact that it's, it's an effort. Maybe he, he might, maybe you won't like anything he puts out. But maybe, maybe he'll continue on. Maybe just the encouragement will keep him going. And maybe the 98th song is the one that you're really feeling. Bam, that, well, that's what it took, you know? Uh, maybe you'll, you'll fall in love with the first song. Who, who knows, you know? But, you know, I do encourage to, you know, open up your mind and your heart and give everyone an, a chance. You know, see, you know, I, I, I catch myself sometimes. Sometimes I will get a demo. Someone will send me something. Uh, the only time I will not listen to something um, is if you're making it difficult for me to, to listen. If you're sending me links that I have to go and then I have to download or uh, I probably won't listen. Um, also, if you're sending me MP3s, I, that might be rough. I might not. I might be on my phone. I might not want to download it. So maybe the best way for you guys to do it is to, I, I guess, maybe a SoundCloud link, maybe even a YouTube link. Uh, something that just makes it extremely easy to listen to. You know, please do not send them to your website and and let them look for it. I mean, I'm telling you, you guys, anybody who's doing that, you're doing the wrong thing. Do not, you know, please and please don't tell people. Oh yeah, yeah, you can find me. Go listen to my music. Just Google my name. Please don't do that. Okay, because I'll never Google your name. I'm sorry. Um, just just don't do that. I'm giving you guys this advice. Uh, just. Uh, make it as easy as possible. I mean, if you could freaking go to the person with a boombox and, and 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 hold that shit on your shoulder while they sit there and work and play it, shit, I would advise that. Make it as easy and as easy as possible. You know, do not have them going to look for anything. It's that's gonna be a, a really difficult task. You know, so but I do encourage everyone to you know open up and listen. Maybe there's something there. You know, and we need trends, man. We need someone to kick something off. And, and then you need to eliminate the whole idea of, you know, yeah, these guys are biting, man. No, don't, you know, put it more so as though you're lifting the bar and people are trying to live up to that level that you've created. And I think that's how we have to look at it. Artists are artists, man. You know, um, and even with movies, you know, vampire movie comes out. Next thing you know, there's 20 other vampire movies or, you know, something like it. So that's just the way, you know, take it as a compliment and look at yourself as a trendsetter. And then what you got to do at that point is continue to do it. You know, keep on putting out 
uh, new material and keep on challenging yourself. You see, that's the thing. Don't compete with others. Compete with yourself. Compete to do better than what you did yesterday and just keep pushing it and keep pushing it. And uh, I, I believe that that's going to be the key. That's going to be, be the key. Um, performances. Uh, I see a lot of acts that I've never even heard of before hitting these stages. Hey, you know what, man, if you got yourself on those stages, then that's cool. That's cool. Um, however, I'm an agent. I know a lot of people and a lot of people know who I am and I should be hearing about you. I'll be real with you. Um, somebody, some promoter should be calling me and saying, yo, La, I heard this artist. Can you get them? Do you have access to them? You know what I mean? Uh, all you managers, uh, the new people who are just getting, uh, you know, starting to um, kind of feel their way around that whole uh, management area. Uh, you might want to look at the agents. You might want to, um, and a good way of, of starting that out, believe it or not, is, and I'm not even talking for myself as an agent, there's others, is to, if a job comes to you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you some really, really key advice, because it's not a money thing, trust me, is if, if a show comes towards you, okay, and someone really wants to, to buy, send that buyer to an agent, okay, listen to what I'm saying, send that buyer to an agent, and tell that buyer, and then Maybe reach out to the agent yourself and say, hey, I'm sending a few people your way. Here's a little information on my artist in case you get any calls. And let that agent sell the product and let him make the couple of dollars. Trust me, the money's not going to be significant, okay? Because the agent makes 10%. Some make 15 I'm still at 10%. Um, I might be there a little bit longer. I don't know how much longer because what I'm doing is I'm tightening my roster. And I think I'm going to expand on my... Uh, uh, my commissions, you know, so that way I, I'm I'm not trying to represent 200 acts. I'd rather get a good 20 that are really going to make some noise. Um, and it's not really about they're going to make the most money. It's the ones that are going to be active and the ones that I see growth and the ones that I think that we, you know, we, we could do something great together later on. So if you, um, if you set that up, I mean, that's a great way because you got to realize the agents know. I hey, Listen, I don't care what manager you are in freestyle. You don't know more promoters than I do, believe me, um, and in more markets. So, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a small, and, and with other agents also, you know, um, Salvatello uh, uh, books, um, trying to think who else is booking freestyles. Not too many. It's not too many. There's a few. I'm talking about on a professional level. I'm not talking about people who, you know, uh, try to book, who, you know, have a couple connections. You don't want to go that route. You got to be careful with that uh, because you could get cut up, uh, cu uh, uh, caught up there. You could get really uh, put yourself in a bind. Um, there's like very few scenarios, if any, that I've never been through. So I know how to, I know a lot of the problems that have occurred in the future, in the past, and I know how those things are supposed to be handled um, I could usually predict if there's going to be a problem way before it even happens. So, and sometimes I can advise, hey, that's not a good idea. This is why, you know. Um, so, so you know, so that's a, it's just something to think about, you know. So that's just a little tidbit. If you don't want to do it, hey, no hard feelings, you know. You still see me, say hi, say what's up, introduce me to your artist. Doesn't mean you have to send any my, anyone my way. I'm just giving you a little advice. If I was you, that's what I would do. Um, also, you know, the people who are producing, man, keep producing. Um, put that bar up there, you know. Get experiment with the sound. I've said this in my vlogs. If you guys have not seen any of my vlogs, you might want to check out my vlogs. You could go right on my YouTube, um, and the playlist is called Freestyle for Life. So you might want to check those out um, because I, I give some some pretty pretty good advice. Um, but if you're producing, um, I would have to tell you guys is. Don't, don't be too stuck on the old school sound. Don't, don't do it. You know, freestyle is so much more than a Planet Rock beat. Freestyle 
freestyle music, hmm, it, it, you know, go with what your gut is. I think that's what freestyle always was. You know, go with what you're feeling at that moment. You know, don't try to change the title of what is it. I'm talking about, you know, the genre. Don't say, oh, well, this is a country house. Don't do shit like that. That doesn't work, you know. Keep it freestyle, uh, especially if you have an artist that has an entire album um, and you kind of, you know, you kind of going the other way. Now, I, I know Stevie B just put out an album. I have not heard it yet. I've read a few of the comments online. People are talking about it's not freestyle. And okay, now I haven't really looked into the situation. So I'm not sure, is he promoting it as freestyle? But when you hear it, it's not freestyle? Or is he promoting it as a totally different genre? I don't know. Um, I guess I'll look more into that later on. But, you know, think about that. Think about that. So if an artist is still claiming it to be freestyle, try to listen be between the lines. Because it doesn't have to have that old school feel to it. Hip hop does it. Hip hop from the 1980s sounds absolutely nothing like the hip hop today. Why can't we do the same? In fact, there's so much hip hop that doesn't even rap anymore. Okay, now there you go. You're flipping the whole thing. It, it's totally flipped. They're not even rapping. They're singing. But because of the style of the lyrics and the style of the, yeah, the arrangement of the lyrics, uh, the melodies and um, maybe the, the content of the, the context of what the lyrics are about, what the stories are about. Maybe that's what it is that defines it as hip hop. Well, the same thing can happen with freestyle. I truly, truly believe that. And I would love to see people come out and actually like reinvent the shit without trying to reinvent the name. You see, it's easy to try and change the name. Anybody can do that. I've seen so many people have tried to do that. Stop doing that shit. That shit does not work. Do not change the name. Keep it freestyle. It's always going to be freestyle. Changing the name is the dumbest fucking thing you can do. Listen to what I'm saying. Unless you want to do R&B, then go do R&B. You want to do hip hop? Go do hip hop. Straight up hip hop. But remember, freestyle was originally, originally Latin hip hop. Okay, so keep that shit in mind. Just keep it in mind. So when you go, when you're going out there and you're trying to produce, get off of that, that sound. Really, if you still want to do it, then that's fine. I'm not saying you know people still enjoy that, people still love that. That's cool. But I'm saying if you really want to push the envelope, I, I'm what I'm doing is I'm kicking open the doors. I'm, I'm letting everybody know that you don't have to be within these four walls for it to work, for it to be considered freestyle. You do not have to be within these four walls. You can kick the walls open and get a little more creative. What can you do? What can you do? Figure it out. Try something. Try something new. Work with your sound effects. Work with a different flavor in the vocals. Mess with the beat a little bit. The beat in freestyle was a hip-hop beat. Oh, my God. It's the same beat. It's a hip-hop beat. The only thing that people think is, is keeping it freestyle is that freaking Planet Rock. Or that if it's corny, it's freestyle. That's what they try to do. Oh, well, if it's this, you know, this corny, you know, dated sound, then it's freestyle. It does not have to be that. It does not have to be that. Stop doing that. You know, people are not going to get it. People, I've been preaching this for 20 years. You do not have to stick to the same sounds. Go outside of the boundaries. Give it a try. But call it freestyle. Because you know what? If you have something that turns out to be so damn dope and you're calling it freestyle or even Latin freestyle, how the hell you want to freestyle is fine. That's that's either the least amount of words you could put, the better, you know. But if all of a sudden you put together this record that is absolutely off the chain and you call it freestyle. You basically just paved the way for so many other people to come and follow suit. And their attempt should be to try to top what you did. And that's not 
trying to create competition, even though competition is a healthy thing, competition helps make shit bigger. And if someone creates something better than yours, high five them and get back to the studio. And now you, you got a job to do. And this is how we're going to excel, man. This is how, please, I want to see this done in my lifetime. I really do. So I really want you guys to kick open those walls, those four walls, and and get creative and just just throw the name freestyle. Don't let no one argue with you. Don't let no one tell you it's not. Just and, and let it be your flavor. Now, if you're gonna sit there and you're gonna mimic a Jodeci song and it has that old school '90s R&B feel to it, then that's what it's gonna be. People are gonna and then when you say it's freestyle, people are not gonna believe you. They're gonna be like, no way. You know, but get a little more creative and, and play that route. Play that route. Go with what you're feeling. Uh, think about the, the, the your melodies are so important, you know. Get get out get out of that straight up stigma freestyle formula. You know, right now it's such a cliche the sounds that you can play anything right away. Oh yeah, that's a freestyle track. Well that's a freestyle, yeah. Because it, you know, we've created that over the, over the years, you know, but that could be changed. That could be changed. Just you know, um, I think people just need to really, really get in there and, you know, go in there with a whole totally mentality. Go in there. The hip hop is doing it once again. They're evolving. They're creating stuff that doesn't even have raps in it, man. And 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 they're calling it hip hop. Why can't we do the same thing? So, all right, people, enjoy. Hope you had hope you had a great weekend. This is Latif Mercado, and until tomorrow, good night, freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.